All right, it is day four of the imminent Christmas Advent Cardinder. That's a that's a mouthful. And as usual, we are going to start with oh, that is the wrong way around. We are going to start with the Pokemon calendar. So we've had an interesting variety of stuff uh, for the first three days. Uh, so it's time to get on with day four. So uh, I'm just going to undo the cardboard thing and let's see what's inside. Uh, okay, now let's see what's inside. Ooh, it feels... Oh, good lord. It feels like another card. <sighs> yeah, that. That's what I was dreading. Uh, it's rare that you look forward to not getting a promo card in a Pokemon product and I get out a sleeve. I know it doesn't really keep it straight or anything, but I've kept my other one under a book. We'll sleeve it if actually no, we'll take a look at it first. Ooh, that's pretty cool. It's an ice QV. Ah, and it's got a little uh it's got a little snowflake on the side. Very cute. Yeah, I didn't realise there'd be V's, I thought they'd just be like hollows or non-hollows or whatever. That is very nice. Um I'll put it in the sleeve, I can feel the sleeve bending already. Uh, yeah, gotta 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 give it to the um, whatever company put this together. Um, you fucking idiots! Right, so I'm gonna move this to the side and we'll get into the box, BRB. All right, let's get into this. So over the weekend, actually, I did watch Robot Carnival. So when we get those packs again, I'll be able to talk about them. But today, oh. <laughs> I'll be able to talk about them because we're about to do it now. So, um, I did briefly mention, I think, day two or three, but Robot Carnival is an OVA film that came out in 87. Um, it comprises of, like, nine short stories. Oh, well, technically eight, because I think the intro and the ending are by the same director. But each story is directed by a different, uh, you know, famous, popular anime director at the time. Uh, and I've seen all of them. And it's pretty darn good, actually. I might even make a little bit of a review um, at the end of all this. Probably January, to be honest. But, uh, oh, okay, so this is Clouds, I do believe. So, um, this was a kind of stylistic short uh, that looked a bit like Hanafuda cards. Oh, hang on, there's another card on it, hang on. There you go. So if you haven't seen the other video, unfortunately these are all like stuck together because these came out in 93. But yeah, that is from Clouds, I do believe. Sorry, Cloud, not Clouds. So this is card 6 of 6. And yeah, and it follows this girl, guy, uh, alien, I don't know. But as, as I'm going to say she walks through sort of like the wilderness and stuff. It's very beautiful. Um, a lot of these shorts as well don't have any... Uh, oh, don't have any like uh, speaking parts in them. It, it's all kind of like mostly silent, apart from like two or three. This is Franken Gears for sure. Let's have a look. Franken's Gears, sorry. Uh, so this is literally Robot Frankenstein. Uh, it's actually a really cool short. It's beautifully animated. Admittedly, it does end a little bit abruptly, which I didn't like. Again, I'll talk about this more in detail. Uh, when I do my review. Ooh, is this Presence? No. Uh, this is Starlight Angel. There you go. Uh, so yeah, so this is a story about a girl who goes to like an amusement park and things go a little bit awry and she kind of sort of falls in love with the robot and stuff. It's, it, it, so this is very sci-fi. Ah, uh, oh, there we are. That's another shot from Cloud, I do believe. So the other interesting thing about Cloud is that it's very rarely full screen. It's always kind of told in this kind of, it's always bars there or there and it kind of changes aspect ratio. It's really cool. Um, I was wrong though, that is from Pre Presence. Is that from Presence? Oh wait, hang on, there's a card stuck behind it, wait. Okay, now let's see, that is from Cloud. I thought so, I was like, I don't remember this part from Presence. Uh, next up is Presence, though. Uh, so, th we this is a double, but basically Presence is about an old guy who creates an android girl. 
and sort of there's a bit of confusion about whether it's real or not or whatever and there's some drawings there that is the robot girl i can't remember her name unfortunately but uh you know ah there we go right cool so this is ending this is part of the ending so this is a big moving tank thing that has like robots coming out that destroy your village and stuff and it is wild um so there you go that's ending that is three of three that's the very end one i suppose <coughs> um but yeah it's weird because like this is the title screen but also it's a thing as in like it is actually something that exists in the world and not just text they put on which is pretty cool uh this looks like it's from presents as well right hang on there's another card there we go this uh this is from oh franken's gears oh yeah hang on yeah this is the so this is dr frankenstein oh well i mean th there's no talking in the short so we don't actually know his name but that is basically dr frankenstein we have oh yo is this from um Deprive, I think. Deprive is incredible. Uh, no, this is from Starlight Angel. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the robot guy that saves the girl, and this is, like, the evil guy. Um, so there's a short I really loved, which is called Deprive, which is basically a, like, four-minute anime music video about a guy who fights, uh, like, uh, an evil dude. It's a bit like the ending of Starlight Angel, actually, but... Uh, we have Nightmare. Nightmare is... Nightmare is wild. Um, it looks a lot like Akira. Now, I haven't looked into directors and stuff, so this might actually be directed by Akira's director, because there's so much going on. There's so many little details and stuff throughout that it is just insane. Uh, and finally, we have... Uh, what is this from? Franken's Gears. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this, like... It's so Franken Gears has a lot of shots of really weird robot stuff going on, obviously because he's making a Frankenstein monster that's a robot. It's uh, I really like these cards now. Now that I understand the source material, they are pretty cool shots. Um, if you are into eighties era anime, I do highly recommend. It is on YouTube. That's where I watched it. And our second one is going to be a Silver Tempest pack. So, um, don't know what is up for grabs for pulling from this. Isn't there a Lugia? I think there's like a secret rare Lugia that everyone's really hyped for. Makes sense. He is on the front of this pack here. That would be pretty sweet if I could pull uh, the... I was going to say dragon, but he's not a dragon, is he? What is Lugia? He's like a spirit of the water or whatever. Um, but, you know. Right. So, code cards to the side, for the front, I'm going to guess it's Psychic. Let's see. I was thoroughly wrong. So, we have a Honchcrow. Mm -hmm. A Ninetales. A Leafy Camp Poncho. Camel Poncho, sorry, not Camp. C cool, okay. A Drowsy Drowsing Out again. Uh, Spinarak, being a very cute boy. Ralph's been very cute. Well, like, Ralph's can be a boy as well. I mean, Spinarak can be a girl, so. Uh, we have Krogunk. Yay, I kind of like Krogunk. Not going to lie. Yay, Solosis. He is cool. Man, if I can pull the Reuniclus, that's, that's all I care about. Uh, we've got a reverse Whalemer, so no trainer gallery in this pack, sadly. But can we end on something? No. Okay, we've got a Archeop. Uh, I haven't seen Archeops in several sets now. I forgot he existed. He, he's a kind of cool fossil, though. Um, and it's a hollow. I ain't complaining about that. That's a pretty decent pull. Um, right, well, that wraps up day four of the imminent Cardinder. Uh, we definitely got a pristine condition promo card again. Uh, some very cool 80s anime stuff. And, of course, the shiny boy himself. Uh, right, I will be back tomorrow for day five, and until then, sayonara.